Hello Year 8 and welcome back to your music lessons. This is lesson 6, this lesson being on melody and notation. Before we get started, if you are looking for any previous videos on these lessons, they can be found on YouTube. I have put a link to a playlist of all my lessons uh, in the top box of this slide. Uh, when you go onto that, you'll find lessons, the videos for lessons one, two, three, four, and five, and obviously this lesson, lesson six. This will be helpful because uh, you need to complete previous lessons if you want to effectively complete this lesson and lessons in the future. For today's lesson, the lesson objective is to understand the use of a stave and treble clef when writing music. So stave and treble clef is, are two terms we haven't heard of before, but we will be looking into that today and you will gain a better understanding of them and how they are used. So uh, in the red box on the left, you are able to draw the stave and treble clef. So pretty uh, easy beginnings, very basic. Once you're able to do that, from that, you move to the yellow box in the middle. You are able to understand the use of notes on a stave. So we use the stave and treble clef so we can write music out uh, and put notes on them, as you'll see as we move on further in this lesson. Then once you're able to do that, the green box on the right, you are able to identify where to correctly place notes on the stave. So where you place notes on the stave will obviously tell you how to play a piece of music. So let's get started first, the stave and the treble clefs. Now the uh, diagram I put at the top of this slide shows you what the treble clef and the stave look like. So if you look on the right, we'll start off with the five lines, uh, horizontal lines. This is basically what we call the stave. So the stave is just five horizontal lines. Then we have on the left, we have the treble clef. Now the treble clef is that sort of a swirly looking image that sits on the stave uh, and it looks like that we use it when writing music to identify like the beginning of a song and we also use it to identify uh, where things can be found on where notes can be found on the stave so for task one i like to draw the stave and treble clef using the diagram on the right to guide you so i put a diagram on the right which helps you draw the treble clef so the stave is pretty easy to draw it's just five horizontal lines uh, and then we need to make sure that we can draw the treble clef. So there's a step-by-step -step instruction guide, which will help you draw the treble clef on the stave. Uh, first, start off with drawing the stave first. So that's the five horizontal lines first, as this will help you draw the treble clef. And then when you are drawing the stave and the treble clef, please make sure you use a pen or a pencil, and please make sure you a ruler, because using a ruler, of to draw the horizontal lines obviously will make them a lot straighter a lot cleaner and it means that also when you draw the treble clef it'll be a lot more uh clean to draw as well as the treble clef uh, the stave is also used as like a template uh, to help you draw the treble clef then take a photo of that and upload it to class charts please so that's task one once you've done task one, we're looking into task two. Now, task two is talking more about the notes on a stave. So we've looked about what the stave is. It's those five lines and the treble clef, which is the swirly thing, as you can see on the left of the diagram at the top of the slide. We are now looking more into what the how to write notes on the stave so we can read and write music. So uh, different notes depend on where the dot lies on the stave. So as you can see from the diagram, as the dot moves further up the stave, so it goes from like the a space in the stave or it goes on the line of, on one of the lines of the stave, you can see the note changes. So for example, I've put on the diagram uh, just below the diagram at the top, you can see I put one dot and it's in the second space up, in, uh, up from the stave and that would be the note A because it's in the second space up as it shows in both diagrams. So what I'd like to do is draw a new treble clef and stave and I'd like to put dots on the stave to represent the notes below. So the notes F, B, E, A and D. So just as a bit of help in this uh, video. So for task one you need to find where uh, the note F is on the stave so you can see the first space uh, on the stave, the first space at the bottom, so the very bottom space, you can see is F. So what you do is you put, you draw your stave, you draw your treble clef, and then you put a dot 
in the first space of the stave and that would be f now you're gonna find b and you gotta work out where it is b sits on a line so you gotta make sure that you put the dot on the line so f b e a and d so there's five different dots that should go on the stave to represent each of those different notes that's for task two once you've done those two tasks, I uh, just want to quickly remind you that your minimalism research project should be finished and uploaded by now. Uh, so please make sure and check that it is. Uh, well done. Thank you for listening. Uh, and I can't wait to see your work.